Hello everyone, welcome to another video. So something a little different today for you guys. I'm going to be reacting to a few scenes out of some films which bear a striking similarity to practices you might find in the meat and dairy industries. So the first film is called Don't Breathe. Now the story in a nutshell was basically some kids break into a blind man's house to steal his money. So they find out he's got a hostage. It's a lady that killed his daughter in a hit and run. And what he's doing is he's using this hostage to birth him another child. So these house thieves ended up trying to set her free and the pregnant hostage dies in the process. Not a rapist. I never forced myself on her. Stop. I promised I would set her free just as soon as she gave me a child. Now she's gone. But I'm done waiting. So what happens is the blind man takes one of the thieves hostage and wants her to bear his child instead. You can't do this to me. No! No! You're strong. You're young. You'll breathe well. No! Get away from me! No! No! Nine months, and I will give you your life back. Okay, now don't worry, don't worry, her friend comes to save her. But this is what artificial insemination without consent looks like. So in the dairy industry, the same process is used to impregnate the cow so they can produce milk for humans. Apparently this process is rape when it's a human, but it's not rape when it's a cow. I hope by showing a human in place of a cow helps you to understand why this process is immoral. Fucking bastard! <laughs> He definitely deserved that. Okay, so this next clip is from a film called Mad Max Fury Road. So it's set in some future time where the barren wasteland of Earth no longer has animals to exploit. And there you go, you gotta drink that breast milk for calcium, right? I mean, if you think that was gross, I'm not sure why you'd think drinking breast milk from another species isn't gross. But anyway, these women are essentially milk producing slaves. So let's change the context a little bit. There's now plant-based milk options in this world available. Wouldn't you think blending some oats and water would be a better option than enslaving conscious beings for breast milk? If you agree, then welcome to the vegan philosophy. Okay, so this clip is from a film called Cloud Atlas. Set in the future once again, these workers believe they're going to some special place after their retirement. But it turns out they're just being humanely slaughtered and fed back to themselves. The genomics industry demands a huge quantity of biomatter for wound techs. Recycled fabricants are a cheap source of protein. They feed us to ourselves. Now, same species feeding is actually quite common in the meat industry, so that's a comparison to draw. But let's look at the slaughter method here. That was a quick death, a bolt gun straight through the skull. I mean, but we would still argue that murdering them to begin with is the cruel part, right? You know, just taking someone's life from them should be considered cruel, right? If you agree with that in the human context, then I wonder if you would hold a similar standard to animals. If so, welcome to veganism. Okay, moving on to the next movie, The Bad Batch, which is another one that's set in the future, a running theme here. So it's set in a time where there is hardly any crops, so they have to resort to a very extreme way of getting their food.
Okay, so she was tied up and her limbs were cut off so this other person could get their protein. But I guess when you're in a survival situation, this is the only choice. It's not like there's vegan options around to choose. You know, like there is now. Get it? Trade you for that leg. Okay, so they're trading human body parts for fuel. These people truly are in a survival situation. But let me pose you this question. If they had vegan food to eat, yet still chose to eat those human body parts, what would you think? Now you probably just think there's zero justification to do something so horrific. Well, now welcome to the vegan position. We don't need to eat animal products to survive or thrive, so it's completely cruel and unnecessary to murder animals to eat their body parts or exploit them for their milk, eggs, skin, or for any other reason. So I hope these video clips here have helped you see things from the animal's perspective, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace. <laughs> Excuse me. Out. Get out. Excuse me, Mr. Fly. Get out of the shot.